Wilder just came up short. But he'll live to fight another day. Me and him could still get it on. We could still get it cracking. I believe I'm a massive threat. I still think Wilder's a threat, and I still think it does amazing numbers if we get it on. <laughs> yeah, I'm up in here. Wait a minute. I just want to say I want to give you guys this because tomorrow or Christmas Eve, I can't give you guys the morning after. I'm going to spend Christmas Eve with my family. So I just want to give you guys this, you know, uh, since we have some time to talk about it. Let's call it the day of. <laughs> so, uh, look, I want to first say we are... This community is the best. It's it, just the best. We had 160,000 um, views for that live stream, for the day of reckoning, for the live stream commentary, 160,000 and counting. So thank you guys so much. Give you guys a round of applause, man. That's a Merry Christmas for me. Thank you so much. Let me break down, though, this whole Deontay Wilder thing and everything and Anthony A.J. Joshua. Let's break this down a little bit. The day of reckoning. First of all, what did I say about Wilder versus Joseph Parker? I got Wilder knocking out Joseph Parker. But mathematically, if you want to do boxing math, it makes no sense for Wilder to win. When you think of boxing and boxing history, boxing math, Joseph Parker has a better resume. Joseph Parker is a better boxer. And Joseph Parker is younger. Deontay Wilder is 38. And Wilder just came off of two brutal knockout losses. And Wilder has been inactive. He doesn't have like one fight in two years. If Wilder wins by KO round two at 38 years old against a better boxer with a better resume, who is not just fat and at the end of the jab, but can move, the guy's incredible. Boxing math, he shouldn't win. And yes, <laughs> I thought Wilder, I had Wilder knocking him out, but it didn't make sense because what did I say about that? The fact that he's a favorite is crazy. And number two, if he knocks out Joseph Parker, that is strange, right? Like I said, if your name ain't George Foreman, you shouldn't be looking good at 38, all right? It would be strange because it, it just didn't make any sense to even have Wilder beating him, right? For all those reasons that I said. But on top of that, if he were to do that, you know, I said in my live stream, then that means he's one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live because... It just doesn't make sense for Wilder to knock him out, all right? 38 years old for a heavyweight, you know, it, it, you, you kind of finished anyway. But on top of that, though, on top of that, and I think Wilder would be back. But Wilder, you know, this fight was very important for Wilder, this Joseph Parker fight. Joseph Parker, because you didn't know if, it was Tyson Fury just being better than Wilder or Tyson Fury along with anyone who is an upper echelon fighter, right? Just a great B plus to A fighter. So anytime he fights somebody with real skills, who's not just a fat guy at the end of the jab, who's just slow footed, somebody who can really move and box, right? Um, the reason why, you know, I always said that fighters from the 90s would beat Wilder because they can move and box and punch hard, got a chin, all those things. They got game, got skill, got technique, got athleticism. You know, um, Joseph Parker is just a, he's not even a percentage of what those guys were, all right? And Joseph Parker destroyed Wilder from pillar to post. He even hurt Wilder. So, I mean, he beat him and beat him up. So, Joseph Parker just far better than Wilder. Um, which, which, you know, I wonder, and I asked this question, how many points do you give Tyson Fury for that? Like, Tyson Fury has been working with Joseph Parker in the camp for a long time now. And you know Tyson Fury talked to him repeatedly about how to beat Wilder. It makes you wonder, is that a third win for Tyson Fury? Arguably fourth. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you give Tyson... You got to give Tyson Fury some credit for that. But you don't want to take uh, credit from Joseph Parker at all. But with that being said, you can't help but to think about Anthony H.H. Joshua and what he did tonight, uh, making Otto Valin quit on the stool, which was a huge statement. Let me tell you why. Tonight was a huge sta statement for A.J. A.J. was the main event. Huge statement. And then he proved why he should have been. Joseph Parker dominates Wilder in the co-main. And um, A.J. dominates Otto Valin, who gave a scary fight against Tyson Fury, right? And we know how much that means. On top of that, Wilder was dominated 
by a guy who AJ outboxed years ago, closer to Parker's prime, before when Parker was a champion. I think Joseph Parker was IBF champion or something like that at the time. So AJ, he outboxed him, right? And he just made the guy who gave a scary fight up against Tyson Fury, he made him quit on a stool. So you got a situation where AJ did a lot of things all at once tonight. Another thing, he ended by still calling out Wilder. He said, y'all still want to see the fight, right? That was scary to me. For real, that, that was intimidating for me. Because AJ has always said that he always wanted to, that he did want to fight Wilder. You know, he never was shy against when it came to Wilder. He always wanted to fight Wilder. Um, the business didn't make for it. But, you know, um, AJ, the second time when they offered Wilder $120 million and, and Wilder was really on something else. Wilder wasn't afraid of AJ. I think Wilder was just like, y'all disrespected me the first time. Get out of here. Right? But that is a duck. And when you fast forward, AJ said that, I mean, that Wilder said to Tyson Fury that he took less money to fight him than AJ. And then he ended up fighting on the zone anyway for the day of reckoning. So it's kind of like, man, you missed 120 million, you know, just all those things. So AJ made a huge, huge statement tonight. I want to say this too. This war room also called this fight with Makhmadov. Remember this? The best matchup on the card wasn't highlighted. It's the first fight. On the damn card, it may just be the best one on the card. It's the one I'm looking forward to. Let me show you who it is. The Russian Mike Tyson. Arsenal back Macmadov. That's right. Now listen. Do y'all know who the Russian Mike Tyson is fighting? Remember when AJ got knocked out by Andy Ruiz and it started to circle that AJ was actually concussed before the fight and all those things? That was the excuse, right? Because he got knocked out in his barn by who? Agate Cover, y'all. Check his numbers out. He's undefeated. You know who he beat? Agate beat the Dale boy, Derek Chisora. Hey, mess around, and Agate's going to beat the uh, Russian Mike Tyson. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, this, this community, we know our boxing, bro. I mean, it is what it is. We know our boxing. We know our boxing past the main event, the big guys and stuff like that. We really know our boxing. Shout out to everybody who showed up all over the world. The day of reckoning this live stream commentary, more than any other live stream commentary, was one of a global commentary. So, you know, it just to see the diversity in the war room was extremely great. I hope you guys, if you celebrate the holidays and Christmas, have a Merry Christmas, have a happy holidays. And I just want you guys to talk in the war room in the comments below. How do you see this? domination from joseph parker how much how good does that make aj look how good does does that do you give tyson fury even more credit like man he kind of beat wilder again you know though he wasn't in the ring an extension of himself beat wilder um where do you think wilder should go from here and also why why are people so overcritical when it comes to aj and maybe when you are the lion with the crown, you know, it, it heavy lies the head, you know, um, who wears the crown? You know, maybe that's the thing. You know, people are very critical over AJ, and I never really was, right? I, I thought AJ was a fantastic fighter, and I liked his demeanor, his personality, and I like his guts. You know, he took his losses um, against Usyk and bounced back and, and found different trainers and did everything necessary and I want to say this, too, before I go. There is something to be said, and I said this in my live stream commentary. There's something to be said of Wilder having a 30-second fight in two years and AJ having three fights in nine months. There's something to be said about their performances when you think about that. And there's something to be said about their how driven they are. AJ is more driven than Wilder for sure. All right? Let me know how you all feel in the comments below. Showbiz adult. I'm out. Huh.